So uh, we will be using Noon Setting Daily Prayer, page 296. And when we get around to it, uh, we'll be use or, uh, and we will have it very quickly, Psalm 149. Okay. I invite you to rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Action. Evening, morning, and noon, I, I cry out in distress, distress, and he hears my voice. voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will, will never, never let, let the righteous, righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 149. I have spoken in unison. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Sing, Sing to the Lord a new song. song. His praise is in the assembly of the God. Let Israel be glad in his Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the humble with salvation. Let the godly exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their throats and to their swords in their hands, to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on the judgment written, this is honor for all his godly ones. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the, the Father, and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. It is going to be a very fitting psalm for our reading, which is Revelation chapter 18. Um, without being able to really divide this into parts, uh, I'm going to read through the entire thing. Uh, essentially, this is the future state of the Whore of Babylon, which we encountered in chapter 17. And after that, I saw another angel come from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his brightness. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Great Babylon is fallen is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of all foul spirits, the cage of all unclean and hateful birds. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and her merchants were made rich from the abundance of her pleasures. And I, John, heard another voice from heaven say, Come away from her, my people, that you be not partakers in her sins, that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have gone up to heaven, and God has remembered her wickedness. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and give her double according to her works, and pour in double for her in the same cup that she filled for you. And as much as she glorified herself and lived wantonly, so much pour in her, in for her of punishment and sorrow. For she said in herself, I sit being a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore her plagues shall come at one day, death and sorrow and hunger, and she will be burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication with her, and have lived wantonly with her, will weep and wail over her, when they see the smoke of her burning. And they will stand afar off for fear of her punishment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for at one hour has her judgment come. And the merchants of the earth will weep and wail in themselves, because no one will buy their wares any more, wares of gold and silver and precious stones, neither of pearl 
of, and fine linens, and purple and scarlet cloth, and all fragrant wood, and all manner of vessels of ivory, and all manner of vessels of most precious wood, and of brass and iron, and cinnamon and incense, and ointments and frankincense, wine and oil, and fine flour and wheat, and work animals and sheep and horses and chariots and bodies and souls of men. And the apples that your soul lusted after are departed from you, and all things that were choice and precious to you are departed from you, and you shall find them no more. The merchants of these things, who, have got, who, have, who had gotten rich, will stand far off from her, for fear of her punishment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city, which was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For at one hour such great riches have come to nothing. And every ship captain and all they, they that carried, uh, that occupied ships and sailors who worked at sea stood afar off and cried out when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried out, weeping and wailing and said, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein all who had ships in the sea were made rich by reason of her great wealth, for at one hour she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has given your judgment on her. And a mighty angel took up the stone like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, With such violence shall that great city Babylon be cast down, and shall be found no more. And the sound of harpers and musicians, and of pipers and trumpeters, shall be heard no more in you, and no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in you, and the sound of a mill shall be heard no more in you, and the light of the candle shall no more shine in you, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more in you. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, and with your enchantment were deceived all nations, and, her, and in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints, and all and of all that were slain upon the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah, it's very, very hard to try and divide that up, seeing how it all kind of fits together. So, <clears throat> uh, the focus is shifted to the horror of Babylon, uh, the the whore of Babylon, she appears on the beast from the sea, uh, representing political power. Uh, the the whore, the or the harlot, depending on how you want to translate it. She's sitting atop the beast, and she is the one basically uh, providing safe haven for affairs of pleasure and commerce. Um, in and as I've been describing her in the past. Uh, Few devotionals I've been doing on this. She's kind of the anti-church insofar as she is providing an alternative mode of worship. So rather than worshiping God, uh, you worship basically pleasures of the flesh and, uh, and wealth. And because she's completely moved away from God, she is warring against the church. And as it says in chapter 17, verse 6, uh, she is uh, drunk with the blood of the saints. So she is actively martyring uh, people within her. Uh, John likens her to Babylon, the city of Babylon, but hey, hasn't Babylon been destroyed, say, over 500 years ago at the point of John's writing? Yes, it has. So John is uh, using Babylon as a uh, symbol for, uh, well, we would normally say Rome, uh, because Rome was seen as the great and mighty power of the day uh, in which there was much sin and, and which was oppressing the nation of Israel. Uh, today we would say basically any, uh, any worldly power that is trying to concentrate the focus away from God and on worldly pleasure and, and, uh, and commerce. So in uh, many respects that would be like a, a heavy materialistic society who is worshipping science and saying only science could give us the answers, we cannot have no God in our world, 
and uh, rejecting anything that has to do with, with the Spirit, as an example. Now, when she's destroyed, all the people, well, not all the people, but a lot of the people of the earth are in mourning because they realize their pleasures and their commerce will now end, and no more will they have all these exotic things. Uh, yeah. When I was reading up on this a little bit, uh, the, the lament over Babylon by the various uh, secular powers of the earth is reminiscent of a passage in Ezekiel where her foreign power is destroyed and then everybody weeps over that foreign power because, not because it was uh, blessing them with God's blessing, but because they were able to satisfy their flesh. So as flesh dies, so does the pleasure, so does the commerce, and it all goes away. And in one sense, it's sad that so many people have invested so much in her, but on the other hand, uh, we have rejoicing in heaven. As it says in verse 20, Rejoice over her, O heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has given your judgment on her. So finally she is judged, judged for her crimes against God and against the saints, and that she has to answer for them, uh, that she is now in punishment for them, and that she is dislodged from the world, so no more will she disrupt everything in the world and cause great evil. Not that God has not tried to uh, bring about, basically, uh, the conversion of those within her, uh, uh, trying to, as the text says, fornicate with her through pleasures of the flesh and commerce. God has tried to bring people out of there. As it says here um, in verse 23, the light of the candle shall no more be shine in you, the light representative of God, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride, bridegroom being Jesus, the bride being the church of God, uh, no more shall they be heard in you. So Jesus and the church and God are trying to work with it in the city of Babylon, the, the symbolic city, and trying to bring people out of it, but people just won't listen, and, that, and that's the horror of this. But now, uh, all those who have suffered good inner will be freed from their enslavement to it. Uh, and that is what we actually hope for, that we hope that God's will be done, that evil will be judged, and that evil will be removed from the world. This is a great hope of the Christian people, that, that evil will be removed, and we do pray and we do preach in the world itself, even uh, to all those who are taking part in worshipping their flesh rather than God, that we try to bring them the message that you can have eternal salvation away from the materialism of this world, and you can have Jesus Christ forgive you your sins. It is a message that we continuously repeat as we live about in this Babylon today, and we continuously uh, try to draw people out of out of their sins. God himself is at work in this world and he himself is uh, trying to reach all of us and he himself is sustaining all of us who are, who are toiling about out here today and he gives us the eternal promise that everything evil that we experience in this life will end on the last day. Amen. Uh, we continue with the Curie on page 296. O Lord, have, have mercy upon us. us. O Christ, have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. O Lord, have, have mercy upon us. us. Our have Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Dear Lord God Almighty, uh, we do, as we ask for mercy for ourselves in the service, we also ask for mercy upon those upon the earth, especially those who are now lost and, and who are wayward in their sins. We ask that they hear your word so that they need not be judged according to their sins, but have the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. Help us be faithful messengers of your word and witness to all people everywhere for your word and your grace, so that all may come to you and live. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Lord Jesus Christ, you went to the cross for our sins, and you died for the sake of all people everywhere. Please, Lord, help us uh, present this holy and pure message so that all who hear it may be given the gift of faith and have, uh, and uh, may actually receive the Holy Spirit who will work faith within them and draw them to you and repentance. Please, Lord, uh, help all people hear this word so that all may have the Holy Spirit in faith and all of us together will worship the destruction of all evil in this world as we find ourselves present in the last day. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.